All right, folks, this is Joe and Briano, and uh, today's Monday morning. We've got a very important topic to discuss this morning. I was driving uh, around town this morning, and I'm in Fullerton, California. Once again, this is Joe and Briano, the Fullerton Informer, folks. And I saw a bunch of bars already open at 7.30 in the morning, and there were people inside these bars and there were people outside these bars. On a Monday morning, the bars were open and there were all these flags on the roof from Mexico and some of these other countries. And you know, I don't watch television, ladies and gentlemen, but apparently there's a, a soccer game today. And apparently it's like the, the big rage, right? I'm here to, I'm here to tell you something, folks, that when the diversions are at their peak, the agendas are on their way to being rolled out because the best cover for experimentation on the public are the big diversions, the big bread and circus folks. I follow the news. I don't watch television, but I follow the news. And let me tell you what I'm really worried about, ladies and gentlemen. And that is this mystery illness that we're hearing about. First, it was the embassy in Cuba. And now, it's the embassy in China. You know, they always play up this, oh, you know, it's they're trying to get back at us for doing this, they're trying to get back at us for doing that. Do you wanna know what's really going on, ladies and gentlemen? Let me tell you what's really going on. They're testing psychotronic weapons on us. The symptoms of this mystery illness to these embassy workers apparently sound like these people are experiencing headaches and they're, they're hearing things, folks. There are people that are working in these embassies and their family members, they're, they're hearing things, they're hearing sounds. And they've been diagnosed with mild brain trauma. I wanna repeat this. The embassy workers in China have been reported to have succumbed to a mystery illness since June 6th, when it first appeared and not one medical doctor has been able to explain the source of this illness. Now, what we've got on our hands is a situation where people are being subjected to some sort of weaponry and the doctors are failing to diagnose it for what it is. What is happening to these embassy workers under the cover of all these diversions like this supposed racial civil war that the media is trying to set up in the United States? And it's not gonna happen. What's being done to these embassy workers as the World Cup is taking over everybody's thought process, the soccer game has everybody under a spell while the story of the century is unfolding right before everybody's eyes. The 5G systems, ladies and gentlemen, the 5G systems are being installed all over the world and the weaponized applications of these are being beta tested right now. And what you're seeing come forward in the media are some of the victims. Now, this technology, this millimeter wave technology was developed as weaponry by the military. And now they're conveniently utilizing it and deploying it on embassy workers for our country. And of course, under the cover and the cloak of, oh, it's some um, clandestine ultrasound weapon from the Chinese because they're mad at us over the trade deficit and Trump's position on tariffs. How convenient, huh? Oh, the embassy in Cuba. Oh, it's, you know, they're, it's the Russians. They're, 
they're still messing with us. No, folks, let me tell you what this stuff is. And here is a fact. 5G stands for fifth generation wireless. 5G is a new spectrum of frequencies that are being opened up for a widespread deployment and ubiquitous proliferation all over the world and it is a system that uses millimeter wave frequency bands of the electromagnetic spectrum these 5G systems were developed in Israel, ladies and gentlemen, and you can look this up. The Israelis developed 5G. Now, it is being deployed all over the world, and it is a weapons grid, folks. And what you're seeing with these embassy workers is you're seeing the beta testing on the guinea pigs, and what you're seeing is the complicity of the medical system in covering up what this stuff can do. The symptoms of electromagnetic exposure from 5G millimeter waves range from headaches to insomnia to cardiac arrest to hearing voices to feeling pressure in the brain, the, the burning skin sensation. Well, these guys in these embassies have been targeted and these weapon systems are being tested on these people and they're actually exhibiting symptoms of mild brain trauma. That's right, folks, you heard me. These people in these embassies are exhibiting mild forms of brain trauma. That's a diagnosis. There's no question that their brains have been affected by something. Now, here's another part of the diversion. They're saying that it's some ultrasonic weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a huge difference between ultrasound waves and microwaves. That's like the difference between a cigarette lighter light bulb and the xenon beam on top of the Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas. You cannot compare the two, but they try to muddy the waters and confuse people when in fact the entire population is going to be forcibly exposed to these systems as these transmitters are being put all over the place and they're coming now while the media is trying to start a civil war in this country and believe me, folks, that's what they're up to. And I want you to look up the names of the people that run the television companies. Who sits on the board of directors of the publication companies? And you look at all of these people. These are the people that are trying to destroy America with their civil war, trying to get us to hate each other and to fight giving us this phony left-right paradigm and these humongous bread and circus diversions like the Super Bowl and the, the World Cup and you know all this mindless nonsense to get us off off the get our eyes off the ball in the meantime they're testing the kill grid folks they're testing the weaponry and they're doing it in such a way that people will actually not critically link and critically think the 5G systems to the symptoms that are being exhibited. Now, they're purposely using embassy workers because people will automatically think it's a foreign enemy doing bad stuff to our people. I can tell you once again that 5G was developed in Israel. That's where this stuff has originated. And that is a fact. Now, we need to stop the deployment of 5G. And we need to expose 
the people and the companies that are behind it. 5G is a weapons kill grid. China, as we know, is the model, according to David Rockefeller himself, of the future. Where you get social credits and you live under tyrannical edicts where the jackboot ends up on everybody's neck if they get out of line, where they bulldoze and blow up churches, where forced sterilization was the norm for decades. And the snow is black, and the water is so poisoned they have to fry everything instead of boil it. Folks, I'm telling you right now that what is happening, we can see what lies ahead if we look no further than what is being done to those embassy workers in China. I want you to study closely what the effects of this particular weapons deployment in China has been. And it is also a warning to all of you listening to the sound of my voice to not bring in any 5G compatible devices into your home and any millimeter wave utilizing Y gig systems into your home. That's the new Wi-Fi. They will be able to tie in to your smart meter and your Y gig new routers that are coming with the 5G systems that will be outside on the light poles. They can induce illness with these microwave systems. They are going to set up the disease X epidemic with a microwave system deployment utilizing millimeter waves that have been developed for military applications. The 5G systems were originally designed, these frequency bands that are utilized in the 5G systems that are coming were originally utilized and designed for military applications. You see, ladies and gentlemen, for decades, people have been focused on paying attention to the wrong things. People are concerned about things that are not relevant, and yet the things that threaten the very existence of humanity are now surrounding us. There are those people that are involved in this that think they're doing humanity a service because at the core of this agenda is depopulation. It's not going to be a drastic decline. It is going to be a gradual, very painful, misery-laden existence for a lot of people that are going to start feeling the effects of these transmitters once they're deployed. And there will be an agenda to blame these symptoms on some new pathogen that they've been hyping for some time now, which is called Disease X. And the draconian solution to this fake epidemic that's really a result of chronic millimeter wave exposure from the infrastructure that's being put in all over the world will be a forced vaccination program, folks. This is all coming. And right now, what we have are pushes from state legislators and even at the federal level and a national call by the media that is pushing to totally control and censor the dissemination of information. Do you want to know why they're so worried? Because the truth is getting out and they're running out of time. You see, the internet and the current communications array and grid that we have is a double-edged sword because we can also use it 
to warn everybody about what they're doing. But at the same time, they have to keep this weapons grid in place to track and trace all of us. So the only thing they can do before they turn this communications grid into the final version of its kill grid that's actually designed to hurt all of us is they need to keep the system in place to track and trace us. So they have to clamp down on our speech. And they have to stop the dissemination of the truth from going out. And the same people that run the media are behind the censorship. You heard me, folks. Now, what do we do? Well, we tell everybody we can about how these millimeter wave frequencies are weapons and we make sure that we do not bring any new generation 5G compatible devices into our homes and acquire any of these 5G devices for personal use. None of the cell phones right now are 5G compatible, folks. Stick to what you got. They're not going away from the current system. It's staying in place. Keep your old technology. As dangerous as wireless is in its current present form, what's coming is leaps and bounds above in terms of its danger and its health impacts. If you own a business, don't bring millimeter wave systems into your business, okay? Don't do this to your employees, folks. Don't torture your employees with the coming weapons grid that's being offered as the newest and latest rage in upgrading your technology. I will tell you that your last bastion of defense will be your home. And that is where you need to really draw the line. You need to look into shielding your home. If you can get some lead paint in Mexico, bring it across the border, order it, bring it over. Paint your house with lead paint. You can find ways to block the signals that are going to be beaming at your houses or your apartments. Look into it, folks. Because if they want to target you and make you start hearing noises and have chronic migraines and, and not be able to sleep and, and, and destroy your health, they can. If this weapons grid goes in and they're able to put these transmitters on every light pole. You need to turn your house into a fortress. Now, I, I don't really want to go into what the solution is when you're outside yet, because it's rather complex, but it does involve some supplementation. And I really don't want to get into that right now because it's a rather complicated discussion. The purpose of this discussion right now is to make sure that you understand that what's currently happening is that as we get ready to wave our American flags and celebrate the fact that we have the freedom to do what we're told by our government, you heard me, we have the freedom at this point to do what we're told. As we wave those Chinese plastic flags around, as the fireworks stands go up, as the soccer game envelops the masses of people in this country, like it's some sort of accomplishment, like we just won a war. And as the bread and circus entertainment gets ramped up to whole new levels where there's hundreds of channels and endless 24 seven video streaming, video games, where the food is all subsidized to be cheap and poisonous to turn us all into a bunch of fat hogs for the slaughter as the government props up the GMOs, the corns, the high fructose corn syrup, subsidizing the deadly sweeteners that are killing everybody. And as people are just overtaken with all this indulgence and decadence that's actually totally self-destructive by design, they are putting the finishing touches on the kill grid, folks. The 5G systems have been beta tested for weaponization 
There have been several schools that 5G Y gig systems were installed in with disastrous results. Children were collapsing, children were getting paralytic symptoms, people were uh, having all kinds of numbness and tang tingling in their extremities, headaches. These mystery illnesses, folks, they're not mysteries. They're just making us think that we have all these boogeymen to worry about when in fact these are designer deployments. You need to get this information out because you're not going to hear about this on these uh, television stations that are controlled by these satanic pedophiles, folks. They're going to all run the same five stories. They're going to all tell you the same baseball scores at the same time every day. It's amazing. You turn on the news on the AM radio, and you're going to hear the same stuff at the same times on all the stations. And all day for 24 hours, it's the same news stories in the cycle. It's the same stuff they're feeding you, ladies and gentlemen. We have got to get the information out while we have the ability. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm doing that. And with his protection and his provision, this information is going to go forth. We have to be aware of what they're up to. And to be honest with you, they're not hiding what they're doing. They're just giving you a choice between red herring A, red herring B, or the real meat and potatoes, folks. And because people have been conditioned to eat red herring, they can't see the filet mignon. And now, What's going on in China right now is really a beta test on multiple fronts. That bird flu, avian uh, influenza epidemic, that's genetically engineered. I've talked about that. They're going after the food supply. But you, you need to keep your eyes on China, folks. Because China is where the eugenics agendas are, are being beta tested. They have been for decades, and they will continue to be. But most importantly, China is at the cutting edge of the full command and control microwave millimeter wave matrix that has been established by the totalitarian communist government that was created and installed by our own State Department and our foreign policy. And that is a fact. So the same wind-up toys that have pop, been popping up and spinning all over the world. The game is being played in China right now. So, so temporarily, I want you to watch that country. Because as we hear the uh, protectionist rhetoric from Trump, and don't get me wrong, folks, I am a strong nationalist, but there are ways to handle this. And, uh, you know, when you recoil a nation that is addicted to dirt cheap slave labor trade goods and stick tariffs on everything, uh, you're going to see what that does to the economy. You don't take drastic steps like this. That's a different discussion. But I will tell you that what's happening in China is not only newsworthy, it is worthy of your careful analysis to see what lies in store for us. Because that is the plan, ladies and gentlemen. What they have planned for us is rolled out in China right now. Now, I will tell you that one of the best things you can do, in addition to warning everybody about these things that I'm talking about, is get right with God and clean up your life. Have God help you clean up your life because you are going to need the courage to face a couple of big things in the near future in this country, ladies and gentlemen. We are being primed right now for a civil war in this country as they test out the weaponry and as they massively increase the amount of distractions. What you need to do is keep your eyes off of everything they tell you to look at. There's a lot of fear-mongering going on by the typical people out there. But it's fear porn, and it's having you directed at the wrong stuff, folks. The real threat to humanity is not our brothers and sisters or our neighbors. 
and it's not the Democrats or the illegal aliens. They want us fighting with each other, so we don't know what they're really doing as they close the walls in, folks. Yes, there's a problem with open borders and sanctuary cities and opening the jails up and letting the criminals all over the place and handing out hypodermic needles and food stamps and free money to people that want to slam heroin and, and eat, eat junk food because I see that in my community. But here's the deal. We need to realize that we are entering into a period of human history where a very hellish reality is, is about to become closer than you think. And there's going to come a period of time relatively soon that's going to try our souls, folks. And our foreign policy in this country is what is going to dictate the direction of this hellish reality. I have stated in the past that I believe that the United States is gearing up for war and that the military is preparing for deployment in the Middle East. And there have been several things that have been done by this current administration that I believe will set the stage for conflict. This fighting amongst each other in this country, pitting black against white and Hispanic against Asian and Democrat against Republican is all a tool to divide us so we can be conquered and enslaved as they draft our best and brightest alpha males into conscription to fight proxy wars for the banksters, folks. And I'm telling you right now that unless we realize that we have two options, and the first option is no, no, no to what they tell us to do, because all power is reserved in the people, ultimately. And the most important thing you can do is take the name of Jesus Christ and put it above and in front and underneath and beside and above and around you. Because what is being set up is an Agenda 21 kill grid but they can't have your soul, folks. They can't have it. We cannot let them win. They will not win. And the various arms of these groups, these factions that seek to destroy humanity and God's plan for humanity will fail. Now, another thing I want to tell you about the, these mystery illnesses is that if you have the money you need to purchase some sort of radiation monitoring equipment because here's why you need to know whether if you're told that you need to evacuate because of a nuclear detonation you need to know if you're being lied to because there are a lot of FEMA facilities that have been activated and they're on standby. You need to know whether what they tell you on the news is true. When I talk about radiation detectors, I'm talking about different kinds, folks, but you can get a Geiger counter, you can get a particle counter. For a couple hundred dollars, you can get a pretty cheap one. I want to tell you something. If they tell us that Los Angeles was just hit with a nuke or a suitcase nuke and there's a massive amount of contamination, they tell everybody you got to get on these buses. I want to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to break out my detector and say, wait a minute. I'm not getting on no bus because you guys are lying. These people have a lot of different plans, folks. And they may have a lot of wealth and a lot of worldly power. But you want to know something, ladies and gentlemen? They do not have ultimate power. 
and Jesus Christ and his shed blood in the power of his Holy Spirit in the power of Almighty God that people deny cannot take or claim they have any power whatsoever they are of the devil and for those people who deny that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh according to the prophecies in the scriptures for those people that deny that Jesus Christ is the fulfillment who is the Messiah for humanity who is the final atonement and the only atonement for our sins you are damned and that's a fact you will die in your sins and you will spend eternity with Lucifer your father the devil who is a liar a thief and a murderer from the beginning and his eternal destination is the lake of fire you have a choice folks you can spend it with him or you can inhabit eternity with Almighty God and all you have to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ if you will confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved ladies and gentlemen don't put your faith or trust in people don't put your faith and trust in politicians don't put your faith and trust in religious leaders put your faith and trust in the one who walked out of the tomb who conquered death and who has put an end to all sacrifice when Jesus Christ said it's finished it was finished ladies and gentlemen and when he bowed his head and he gave up the spirit and he entered the center of the earth and took captivity captive and led captivity captive and freed the captives let me tell you something folks he finished the job it's over get yourself a Bible before they end up banned open your eyes to what's being done to everybody protect yourself from all the forms of microwave and millimeter radiation that's coming Get plenty of sunlight, plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables, eat organic, filter your water, get rid of your fluoride toothpaste, get rid of all your LED lights, make sure that you do what's right by your neighbors and your friends and family and tell them the truth. Don't take the vaccinations and don't believe the liars. Get rid of your television sets, stop watching the media, stop listening to that satanic music that's programming you open up your eyes folks read the scriptures find yourself a good solid Christian church in your neighborhood and go there and start worshiping and meeting people and stop living like the devil because it's not worth it let me tell you something folks Ephesians 6 the full armor of God the breastplate of righteousness the helmet of salvation the sword of truth the gospel of peace and the breastplate of righteousness the shield of faith ladies and gentlemen we are under spiritual attack we are under physical attack and you want to know something Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father but through him and him is life power protection wisdom holiness happiness and eternity in unity with the one who made the blessed firmament that is above us that supports the waters above us that made the brilliant stars and all of the beautiful heavenly bodies the birds that fly in the air the hummingbird that defies the laws of gravity the amoeba and the protozoa that has more complexity than New York City's infrastructure systems and you and I that took nine months in the womb to make that's right folks Jesus Christ is the beginning and the end he's the Alpha and the Omega in him is life apart from him is death and let me tell you something, folks. You want death? Go ahead. Turn on your television. Who runs the television stations, folks? Look up the names of the people who are behind Disney. Look up the pictures of these people. Familiarize yourself with who is destroying the United States, with who is destroying your children. Let me tell you something about all these people, folks, that deny Jesus Christ and that work iniquity in the sons and the daughters of all of us. You know what their fate is? You know, there was a time 
thousands of years ago where there was this king in the Bible who put all the kids to death because he wanted to slaughter Jesus. And, you know, he put himself up on a throne and made people worship him. And you know what happened to him? He just exploded and worms started coming out of him. You know what? God can do whatever he wants. You think these evil, wicked people that, you know, have these good lives and all this money, you think they're going to live forever, ladies and gentlemen? You have trillions of cells in your bodies, and you know what they all have in them? That was put there by God? A self-destruct mechanism. Nobody's going to live forever in this world. They're all going to die. Some of us, sooner than others. But one thing is sure, all the money and the satanic and luciferian power and all of the horrible things that these people do to think that they're going to inherit eternal life, they're deceived, folks. They're all going to die. They're all going to meet the one who sent his son to live a sinless life, to bleed out and die for us on that rugged cross, to make a tone, a full atonement for our sins. They're going to meet the maker. They're going to meet the one that put the 75,000 miles of circulatory system in our bodies. And you want to know something? When I meet him, do you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say, thank you for washing me in the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, and washing me from my sins, and please show me the key to my mansion in eternity. And you know what God's going to do? He's going to say, well done, good and faithful servant. Come and enter into the joy of your Lord. Guess what, folks? Protect yourself from 5G. And hang your hats on this. The, the, the gates of hell will not prevail against the followers of Jesus Christ. They never will, folks. They never will. God bless all of you. And in Jesus' name we go. And if you didn't catch the live stream, you can watch it when this thing is uploaded. All right. That's Monday morning for you, folks. We'll talk to you later. God bless. And in Jesus' name we go. Amen.